Come on, wake up. Wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night, a gauntlet of pain and judgment. But it's also the feel-good trivia fun time hit of the summer. You'll love it. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you can always be in the audience. It's just as deadly. Am I talking too much? I always overshare on a first kidnapping. Let's start the game. Okay now, first question. As far as careers go, being a serial killer isn't all bad. I set my own hours, and I get to wear jeans on Friday. But enough about my job. What does Rick Bayless do for a living? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What was your favorite toy as a kid? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Oh, just string some words together already. <laughs> Answering was not optional. <laughs> Your silence speaks volumes. And here's where everybody's at, because, you know, we don't rank people enough in society. How about this? What food is high in lycopene? Picked this. Only a ghost got it wrong. Lame. Let's try another one. Which film in the Jurassic Park franchise starred William H. Macy? The answer is... this one. The rest of you who are still alive, come with me. Hey girl! Welcome back to the killing floor. Good news! It's math time! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Let's go! Math! 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 I got these problems from a textbook that I found in a backpack that I found in a body that I found in an alley. Only time for a few more problems. This will hurt. So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. I mean, I was a ghost for a while, but I got better. And here's your scores, my little dumplings. Here's another one. If you only know one thing about astronomy, it should be this. What was the name of the first dog launched into space? And 
the correct answer is... This. Prepare for your punishment. Let's get artistic up in here. I've got to use this drawing technology for some of the other games, right? Something you can lick. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. Ah! Seriously, vote for the drawing that sucks. <laughs> Go with your gut. The votes are in. The people have spoken. Kind of against their will, but they have spoken. I think you found your true calling as a splatter artist. Let's try another one. The philosopher Vatsyayana wrote what ancient book? Who picked? This one. I have a surprise for you. Let's play the finger cutting game. This one's not for the faint of heart or fond of finger. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Could it be any easier? All right, let's lose a finger. Hope you weren't a pianist. P -a -nist. Alright, next question. Who built Machu Picchu? <laughs> Who said... This one? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. <laughs> Alright, let's hide my toys. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If you have the worst memory, you die. Don't forget! again, folks. How close did you get? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. I feel like I should make t-shirts or something. Would people buy those? Or hats, maybe. I'll think about it. I've got more questions for you. Who's on first and what's on second? But tell me the name of the third baseman. Who said this? Too easy. Let's try this again. How pure is sterling silver? Punishment. Let's see if you can string some letters together. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It was really hard to find good cues to cut out. 
Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Spell words now. The letters don't have to touch each other. And remember to press submit when you're done. You're almost out of time! Ooh, let's see what you did there. I don't want to be a jerk about spelling, but you're really not giving me much of a choice. It'll all be over soon. Next question. Here's something that often gets overlooked. What's the third rule of Fight Club? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This. Let's play a game. I think it's time for some senseless violence. You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you could grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I'll still punish someone. So make sure someone gets hurt. The important thing is that you do your best. Oh, and that you kill someone. Yeah, that is probably the most important thing. Let's see what your blood loss got you. I like the violence. Those cuts don't look serious. Serious enough. No! Your friends sure don't like you very much. Only one player left alive. Just how I like it. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. German car manufacturers. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. China. Decisions, decisions. Beware of the darkness. Western African countries. Decisions, decisions. And you're out of here. Hercules' labors.
has consumed African nations. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. 